Today, I'll be demonstrating how to view, create, and upload My Health Record documents from within Medical Director. I'll be using the Australian Digital Health Agency On Demand Training Portal, which is freely accessible via the agency's website. The portal also contains instruction on how to perform the demonstrated step. After locating and accessing the patient's record, click the My Health Record menu tab. The My Health Record view window appears. The comma in green indicates you have access to an active My Health Record. If the comma is in orange, it would indicate you have access to an active My Health Record, which requires an access code. And if the comma is in red, it would imply that the patient does not have an active My Health Record. The My Health Record view tab will appear, listing the clinical documents in the patient's My Health Record. When a document is highlighted, a preview will appear below the list. You can filter what documents appear in the My Health Record view tab and what information appears in the neighboring view tabs. To apply a filter in the My Health Record view tab, select the funnel icon for that filter and the search parameters, then select OK. To open or view a document, double click on it. To save the document to the patient's local medical records, select Save in MD. To access prescription and dispense views, select the prescriptions and dispense view tab. Prescription and dispense items appear in a collapsed summary format. Click the expand list tab and the expanded summary of each medicine will appear. To open or view a selected prescription or dispense record, double click on it. To upload the shared health summary, in the My Health Record view tab, select Create Clinical Document. In the eHealth tab, double click on CDA Shared Health Summary or highlight it and select OK. The shared health summary will auto-populate with information from the patient's local medical record. Tick or untick the items to include or uninclude in the shared health summary, then select the center of the My Health Record icon. Review the shared health summary to verify it has populated correctly, then select Send. A pop-up will appear confirming the shared health summary has been successfully uploaded. Select OK. The shared health summary will be saved in the patient's local medical record in the Letters tab. There will also be a new entry in the Progress tab. To upload an event summary, in the My Health Record View tab, select Create Clinical Document. In the eHealth tab, double-click on CDA Event Summary or highlight it and select OK. Select Import Progress Notes to populate the clinical summary. The summary can also be entered manually. With the more buttons, you can also import information already saved in the patient's local medical record. Tick or untick the items to include or uninclude in the event summary, then select the Send to My Health Record icon. Review the event summary to verify it has populated correctly, then select Send. A pop-up will appear confirming the event summary has been successfully uploaded. Select OK. 
This, the event summary will be saved in the patient's local medical record in the letters tab. There will also be a new entry in the progress tab. To access clinical documents in a patient's My Health record with the record access code, click on Change Gain Access. The Gain Access to Patient's My Health Record dialog box appears. Select the access code and type in password. There are certain urgent situations where it may be permissible for you to bypass the access code using an emergency access function. This is sometimes referred to as break glass function. It is important to understand when this function can be lawfully used. Appropriate use of emergency access are if there is a serious threat to the individual's life, health or safety, and their consent can't be obtained, for example, due to being unconscious, or there are reasonable grounds to believe that access to the My Health record of that person is necessary to listen or prevent a serious threat to public health or safety. For example, to identify the source of a serious infection and prevent its spread. This was a quick rundown on how to view, create and upload My Health Record documents. For further information and resources, visit the My Health Record website page.